Hello and welcome. Today, we are going to be getting the inside look at what the world's laziest vegan eats over three days. Let's take a look. That's me, by the way. I'm the world's laziest vegan. I am actually obsessed with this. I pour the agave in the blender first. So when I put the hot water, the matcha doesn't get stuck to the bottom of the blender. Yeah, just like this amount. Can you see? And then, whoa. And then I add ice. And then I add the creamer. There it is, isn't it pretty? The pumpkin spice is really subtle to me, but I like it. This is my cute little cutting board from Ikea. That's too small to cut anything. <laughs> Look, this is the size of my hand. This is harder because I cut the top off of the onion. Look at that, cute little onions. I love a lot of onion too, so I'm gonna put this entire thing. Fun fact, when I was a child, I loved eating garlic raw. Did I say garlic? I meant onion. What did I say? At this point, I forgot to turn on my mic, so this is me crumbling two-day-old rice onto the side of the pan. Like, I moved all the ingredients to the side, and then I'm pouring some kimchi juice along with frying kimchi on the side as well. Here's an overhead shot. I didn't show me adding rice cake, but I added rice cake because I like them. And a nice tablespoon or so of gochujang. And then I also added nutritional yeast and then all the other seasoning that I mentioned earlier. It's all like up to your personal preference. This is not, this is not a recipe video. Um, anyway, this is everything all together. I'm Filipino. I sit with my leg up when I eat, so enjoy my shiny me. <laughs> I forgot to turn on my mic. We're getting boba. <laughs> My arm is tired already. Okay, we went to Bruti. I got a matcha slush with boba and oat milk. His isn't vegan, but you got. Did you say brew milk tea? Going to get takeout from Carizen. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> hey. Hello. What's up, gamers? I'm a gamer. Yeah, I know. Soul Plaza. Zuh, 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 zuh. <laughs> Late night snack. We got pretzel bites. From Smith's and some Engelhofer mustard. Now on to day two. I spend Tuesdays with my mom, so we started this day off with her making some pasta. It's weird fancy pasta from Target with simple pasta sauce and vegan Parmesan cheese. For dinner, we got takeout from one of my favorite vegan places in Vegas. It's called Veggie Eat Express. And usually when we go there, we get one banh mi and one pho and then we split both of those things and it's the perfect combination so we got the beef banh mi quote unquote beef and then the combo pho 
it's just it's so good you can't go wrong with pho on a cold day i also had to get my caffeine in and i got a pumpkin spice latte with soy milk originally i was gonna cut this part out because it's clearly not vegan right am i the only one that didn't know that even when i look it up on you know the google it says pumpkin spice latte is back and it's vegan pumpkin spice lattes are not vegan no matter what you do i found out that they put condensed milk in the syrup so even if i put soy milk in the drink it's just it's not vegan i'm human a dumb one at that but i make mistakes we all make mistakes and now now I know, and every fall from now on is dead to me. And onto the final day, my mom made a beef chow fun. She used what looks like pad thai noodles, but it was still pretty good. She used seitan for the beef. And then for a snack later, I had jalapeno chips with a side of tofu. Tofu is really good. It's supposed to be like fake sour cream but to me it tastes more like cream cheese. Like the spice and the, the creaminess of the tofu really work together. That is all. Thank you so much for watching what I eat. Um, thank you also for listening to me narrate these things that I eat because I am really good at not turning on my mic ever. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.